there's lots of ways we can describe coaching, but the simplest for me is it's a coach is somebody who helps you have the conversations you need to have with yourself, um, to think things through. Um, it gives you time and space to reflect on your experiences. Um, we, we, we talk a lot about wisdom in, in, as, 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 as something we, that's, that's lacking in, in the modern world. How do you get wisdom? And, and you get wisdom by reflecting on your experiences, often with somebody else. And so that's the first thing that we get. It's basically to create that space to think things through in a structured way. And what the coach does is to ask you the questions that really make you think. They help you to access your internal values and use them more effectively in de making decisions. I think for any NGO leader, the first question is, what am I here for? What's the contribution that I, that I and my team want to make? And then the second question is, okay, what's, what are the things that are stopping us delivering at the level that we would wish to? Having got those, those things, those, those questions at least asked, now we can start to think about, okay, what is it that we can do differently both individually and collectively, to make uh, to, to improve our performance, to become more like the people and the organisation that we wish to be. Within the coach and coachee relationship, basically anything that's good, that, that, that is said is private. Now, you know, there, there are limits obviously, to any, to, 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 to any conversation. If somebody says, you know, that they've just robbed the bank, you, the, you have, a, 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 in most countries, a, a, a responsibility to, to do something. Or if, if, if there is a risk involved here, if you think that somebody, it's clear that somebody is um, on, the, on the verge of a breakdown, for example, you, might, you, you would have to do something about that. So there, there are certain limitations. But in general, anything that is said within the, 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 the coaching conversation remains private to the two of you. By and large, Coaches will not take copious notes. Um, we, they, it's not good practice to have to have good notes. Although they will up, they will add their own reflections after a meeting, so that they, they think about it. But if they're taking notes, they're not listening to, you, basically. So 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 um, it's it's it, the whole process of confidentiality. You have to trust that the other person is not going to be telling anybody else about what's happened in the conversation between you. Absolutely. When we find things go wrong, whether it's in one-to-one -one coaching or, or team coaching, nine times out of ten, we can trace it back to a failing at some point in the contracting, you know, the, 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 the expectations that people have. And if you think about the team coaching, we've got the contract between the coach and the leader. You've also got the, co the contract between the coach and each of the team members individually. You've got the contract between the coach and the team collectively. And you've got the contract between the team leader and the team, and you've got the contract between each of the team members and each other. That's pretty complicated. Absolutely. A large part of the coaching happens not in the formal session, but in how you consider those things afterwards. Um, so you would expect to come away, not just with some solutions to things that you brought for, to discuss, but a lot more questions you'd be asking yourself and considering. Um, we find very often, we call these powerful questions, but they're often not answerable at all. Um, it, it, but, they, but you get closer and closer to an answer uh, uh, over time. And you would, you would use it to go and have discussions with other people. And probably you would you'd use it within your team. And, and I know we're going to come on to that in a minute. Um, but you would ha you would, you would, there are things you would want to talk through with your team to bring them into alignment with the way that you're thinking.